excited uh, on the mixed feeling um, this is the first mission to the moon and uh, this stage is one of the critical stages which is the launch this is uh, truly an exciting time because the UAE is the fourth country globally to be heading to the moon now we will be landing on the lunar surface in around April 2023 and the reason for that being is because they're using a low energy mission to the moon uh, not a direct one and so it will be reaching there in around five months. We are currently so excited as a team uh, to witness the, the launch soon and, and our biggest achievement uh, done and led by Emirati capabilities. We're flying to the moon and we're going to explore new uh, interesting uh, scientific areas on the lunar surface. Um, so it's quite a challenge, especially on the battery. So batteries that, uh, you know, that we use generally don't survive you know, anywhere close to that temperature. So we've sort of uh, trying to design a system where we don't completely rely on the batteries. We are we're waiting until, uh, I mean, the deployment to the surface of the moon uh, after the successful landing will be the most enjoyable uh, moment. Uh, just to give you guys a couple of facts, uh, so the Rashid rover is actually named after the late uh, Sheikh Rashid bin Said Al Maktoum, former ruler of Dubai. And the other thing is that when they do uh, land on the lunar surface, uh, they will be checking for temperatures, lunar soil, photo electron sheets. It's very challenging, first of all, to understand that kind of uh, environment on the, on the moon. We're going for the first time there, so understanding and uh, performing several tests to, to, have, to have this complete uh, knowledge of it, that was the main challenge that I have faced during uh, the development of, the, uh, of my system and the project. Okay.